welcome to Zachronar3 TV and um, this is kind of the new home of the NCCRS and CCS because you know, this viewership is a lot more consistent and it'd probably be easier if we had like one channel for both series. The Cars and Cup series will still be used though for like professionals and stuff like around 16 videos like it was in the past and it'll probably stay that way. But NCCRS uh, Zachronar3 TV is a new YouTube channel home for that so more open to the more viewers uh but yeah anyways uh this is nccrs talladega uh we got rock pace frank chilton starting pole no surprise already a 10 point bonus to start his race uh, with that pole position as real dream starting second all right reggie fulgham here with me today yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um as you see there's some skid marks there's some wrecks and happy hour this is the same exact setup as the cup race so uh, I did not test it out, but it shouldn't be an issue for the Rex. If it is, uh, I'd be genuinely stunned, uh, quite honestly. I know the physics are, the physics are different. That's about it. Um, earn that everything is solidly the same. Um, any first thoughts, Reggie? Nothing much. Just, if Frank Jones can keep the point lead, because he goes very fast. So we're going to see. And another thing is too, we have a replacement today. Bird is in the 43 to replace Michael because of injury. So Bird is in the 43 today. Yeah, Michael with that injury last week in a person speedway. That track is very brutal. Um, didn't get quite, <coughs> uh, pardon me there. But yeah, he's uh, getting hopefully some recoveries there. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's not a, lot, a whole lot of free stuff going on, but really the points lead's been the talk of the town. Zig Zagoon, second in points, um, already at a disadvantage from that standpoint with Frank Shelton getting a 10-point bonus there with that pulse sitting position, so he's going to have to claw his way up again. Reggie, you said it in practice. This is Talladega. Anything can happen. Yes, sir. Yep. And thanks. Thanks for having me back to the booth, Zach. Yep. I'm uh, sorry I missed this week. I'm back. Yep. Interesting enough, uh, fastest in practice was Ian Styles in the 45. Didn't really mention him a whole lot, but it's good for him. Then Jimmy Starr in his second race uh, started dead last. It doesn't have a lot of algorithm on his side. Two super speedways to start his algorithmic towards the series. Hopefully, excels him forward or whatever. <laughs> Hopefully, he does well and the algorithm likes it. Uh, consistency rating is at 75 in the NCCRS, so keeping that consistency high, finishing high, um, it'll carry forward at speedways and other like short tracks and stuff. So I've noticed that how it's that's how it works, but you know there's always that give or take chance something different happens. But this is Air 73, which which is pretty unpredictable in itself. As we're about a minute. Uh, a, little bit, a little over a minute till the command. Last week's winner was Jeremy Frey in the three. He is in the top five in the standings. And a week before that, he almost won a race at Phoenix. But uh, Mr. Matt MV was just quicker on pace. Almost had a restart violation. But um, we, we do have a set rule for restart violations. If there is a car length, a definitive car length between the leader and the second car um, on the top lane that will be a black flag under green unless there's a yellow proceeding the restart which will result in an in EOLL end of the longest line for the next yellow so that's going to be interesting uh, we're about a few seconds to the command or about 15 seconds anyway. So again, Frank Chilton's starting to pull. Um, 10 point bonus to him already. Uh, he's already got the points lead. He's got a lot going for him. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to the command. Drivers, start your engines. Here, 
is different physics, so we'll see. Also a different mod, too. Different. Yeah, I can hear you, Reggie. Um, that's good green. What are you thinking? This will be who got the raw pace today. <laughs> yeah, that's the raw pace for the children. He's got a lot. He's got a chip on his shoulder. Starting to pull here. He's got, I think, uh, the, the first two rows are entirely rookies. No surprise that half the, uh, over 60% of the field is rookies. So, pace car is in. Reggie, you want to call the green? There, they can. All right. Uh, tell they the restart zone is a little past the triangle. The start finish line is. Are you plugging there? of Craig Pockers in the 46. We're lagging back. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag spike starting starting to Ain't building up front. Lead lap one, which would be uh, another point <laughs> for his things. With Chris and Moore, they're trying to stay on top of the tunnel. And Fox Kuzar trying to come back up and get a points recovery after falling back a little bit from Daytona. Which still is up. Frank Chilton stays on point. Frank Chilton, yeah. Yeah, or not Frank Chilton, Monster in the 33 Mountain Dew Chevrolet for Dawn Patrol Racing. Leading up to the last thing, top line until he came off that corner. He's uh, looking pretty good right now, but finally, uh, Riley Gorse. How's our, Greg, how's our uh, guys taking in cup points going? Bird. Yeah, Bird is actually, yeah, funny enough, you say that Bird doing really well in cup standings right now. He hasn't ran in CCRS race since 2021. In the field car. Let's see how he goes. Over the lag spike there. I think mm -hmm. Lennon Jones may have taken the shots in here. Frank Chilton still led that last lap, though. And the Toyotas are working together. And there's two Toyotas in this field. Unfortunately, they are not together right now. It was Jack Ross and the 02. Jimmy Star in 19. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Wreck! Big one! Big one at Talladega. Lap 3. Car upside down. That is Alex Tanker. We are under yellow. I think leading them to the yellow was the 0 2. No, the five okay. of Santa Messi is going to be a uh, Does that come in through back and see what happened? Yeah, right. That looked kind of funny. It did, did look interesting. The 37 and the 54 got together. French Chilton somehow got out of that. I think the 37 came out unscathed, but the 54 did not. So we're going to go ahead and go to replay. We're going to go helicopter on the 54. I feel like that would be the best thing to do. We'll go ahead and go out of the chilled out and slow down on the floor. This was on lap three. So Chilton is trying to get himself together and make Jack Ross and take a very good one. Very chilled on the ground. So this just took out half the field. So I feel that I can touch it with my hands. I'm going to and I'm slow my hair. So it looks like Anthony McCord got in the potato boy in the 99. 37 seen a spot. 54 with the block. 37 definitely. Oh, yeah. 37 definitely could have given more room, but yeah, it just ran out of racetrack for both of them. Though maybe the 99 didn't get enough room, but 37 I think came out of this okay again. Just con. 
And then, boom. Man, watch Frank Chilton, though. Man, he, nice avoidance he, by that four car. Seven, no, he got hit. He got hit, but nonetheless, avoidance. All right, 99, 93, 87. Man. 83, 04, uh, 91, 71, 43, 73, bam. 97 does not look like they are going to keep up their top 10 streak, but this race is still young. If they're still in it, <laughs> maybe they can still get it, but man, just a long, 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 long wreck here, and it looks like they get it filed out. There's space Let's get so Let's get back. complications. Go back to current. So, looks like. Interesting call. And look who come out third when he was involved. The 18. Jimmy Star also came off pit road. I don't think Sandy. I don't think Sandy Messi won that race pit road. Did not think they were gonna pit. Honestly. What? Well, actually, I think it was a bad idea. Uh, the five may have gotten damage from that wreck. I'm not sure. I know the four did. They may have repaired that. So. Who did? I know that. Okay, so Melinda Jones has assumed lead. It's gonna be good for them. Actually, got their teammate right behind them, the 37. How was he in the second? He was involved. <laughs> he was involved. But he. Caused the wreck, he was damaged. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our green white checkers. Doesn't crash the game, sweet. This time and next time, I'm gonna go ahead and get it the fuse out of so it isn't so. And a long, long list, so. Thunder 24 fan out of the race. Alex Tanker, who was upside down in an accident, out of the race. Ryan Cole out of the race. Anthony McClure, who was uh, got spun there, out of the race. So the two uh, McClure Motorsports cars out of the race. Marcin Miller, uh, who already wasn't having a good start to the season out of the race. And Bird did not get to complete very many last season out of the race. Super Fox out of the race. Not getting a good start to their season either. Uh, Tough to Terror. Out of the race, they might be able to rebound. Jack Ross, same situation, might be able to rebound out of the race. And then I think Shred is still in it in the 73, but heavy damage. So we'll have to watch these guys for possible DQs. But I don't think, I think it's really just minor damage. That 72 is probably the most concerning of those guys because he's got the most foot damage I'm seeing. And the 19 also has some concerning foot damage. I watched the five and the four possible uh, damage as well, but I think the, man, it's still a good day for Frank Chilton to start pulling the first two laps, or actually first three laps. As I think the command, yeah. the word from the box, the word from the box is Chilton had a right front going flat. Yeah, so. Man, Got two teammates on the front row and two more teammates behind that. So two shaking bait cars and then two Dawn Patrol cars and then behind that is the 101 of uh, Moon Man who's kind of the only non-team affiliate driver I guess you could say. Couldn't find a team, felt bad for him, put him in a car. Uh, 51 of uh, Brock Nelson, I want to say he racing. A new team. I, can't remember the team. I think he joined Ronnie Racing. Yeah, he joined yeah, Ronnie he Racing. Did. Actually, he was already in Ronnie Racing. So. Yeah. It looks like they're figuring out a little bit of teammates communication on the track. Interesting. Keep an eye on the line to start. Make sure they don't get too goofy. As Melinda Jones' last in standings already getting some good points here. Again, just Khan also doing well. So. I think we could see some team affiliations here on this next restart as we're coming to lap 7 out of 19. Or do you have to let you call this restart as well? Or, well, actually, just go ahead and call this three starts. Actually, 33 has got some hit damage too, so watch him on the start. Melinda Jones taking us back to green. 
Green, green, green. Hey, Zach, is that... Is that about... Is that a violation? So he should be good. No, I'm so, talking about 37. He was way in front of Melinda on the start. We'll go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Yeah, no, he didn't even. He was still in the car itself, so. So he's in the lead now. Two teammates up front. Working mm -hmm. together, but it looks like Melinda wants to lead. He didn't know mm -hmm. that the 33 and Monster has damage, so he's going to drop 30. Causing the wreck. That's something we're gonna watch too. Hey Zach, look, our buddy is in fifth. Coming to the front. Fritz Freeze, you say? Yeah, there he is. He's right there in ninth place. Catching up to the leaders. And look, there's our winner from last two races ago, Jimmy, in the three. Uh, actually, uh, the three of Journey Three just won last race. So back here. In leading races back to back, the guy won a couple races ago, the 88 of Matt MV. He's not too far out of it, but I think we're going to see the field start to score here. So, the Moon Man in the 101 for the, the Steelers team, as you say, he's leading right now. Kind of like AFK team. So, this is. We're going to start seeing, uh, looks like, I think these still may come back to get a look who we thought was out of this and is now back inside the top 10. Captain Consistency, Kyle Sustre. Kyler, Kyler Sustre is back in the top 10. Well, he's almost back in the top 10. He's going to spot He was able to get out of that enough to come out where he doesn't have a lot of damage. I thought he was out of the race, but no, he is back. And he's quite potentially, he's still keeping his campaign alive for a fifth straight top ten. Exactly. Look who else, look who else come from that wreck. The 48 car, Monaco. He was almost, like, he almost was spinning upside down a few minutes ago. Yeah, I was able to play it clean. There he is from the second on that bottom row. Again, just Khan, who is arguably the... I think I put some blame on him because it looked like the 99 came down, but 99 out of race anyway. Uh, but yeah, 37. <laughs> Again, I think those shaking weight cars, they got their, they got a super speedway hookup going. I know it's only a two car team, but watch, watch Jeremy Frey and Eric Monaco. They're not exactly technically teammates, but they have a technical alliance. They're working on the top as well. That puts the two Fords, uh, chicken big Fords on the bottom and running racing. Kyle Sustre ain't got much to lose. He's on the if I'm not mistaken. We're working together right now. Again, we see Melinda trying to... Man, Melinda wants it. You can tell. Melinda wants it. What are we doing in this break? Mistaken, I don't believe Melinda has a win in the NCCRS. Oh, don't do that. So we got a Vince. Vince just went flying way up in turn one. Yeah, you gotta watch that. Uh, this pack started to split up a little bit. I think the that, that pack behind it, the line, the line, the line, the line, the catch up as well with the new on and whatnot. I don't think they got a whole lot of damage, but top 15 possible finishing position. He's still going to be able Frank Chilton was out of the race there. He is in Sandy Messi, who started dead last in the pack. He's back up here. Incurred for that damage. He's definitely a dark horse for the win today. And Vince. Because here comes Vince. Vince Freeze uh, won the race in Sox. He won that in the Quite a few laps at uh, Armory Digital. It's been decently consistent. He's had a lot of races that weren't so great, and then his teammate out of the race, but he was looking to hold point for real fame motorsports. Here we go. It's an all this double zero for all the motorsports at the bottom. Frank 
Chilton has lost the draft here for the state. Some damn. Uh, but still in good position for a decent finish in that fourth part if this race is your time. I don't think I don't think we're gonna go green. I think they about to get pushy back. Yeah, we could see some cars in the back maybe pushed a little too hard. Uh, the way that they're moving that three I mean, wide back there, they're pushing, shoving, slamming. Twenty four may be a concern. Uh, let's see how fast he's running. One seventy nine and we'll keep the idealistic drafts. I think we'll keep it good. He's not, he's not too slow, but he's gonna definitely be a factor for him. He may come, he, I don't think he's gonna cause a rift, though. He's not too slow. He's gonna have the damage he needed to repair. Really? Frank Chilton I uh, thought I had lost the draft. He found it. Consistency in this raw pace right there. <laughs> And a track that uh, is the hardest to keep consistency going on is Calendar and Daytona. Zach, look at that bottom line. Zach, look at that bottom line reforming back up. Yeah, losing a ton right now, yeah, I don't think truly really knows. He's going to probably go a lap down here, but I don't think he's going to be a threat to cause a wreck. He's going to shoot down the road. So, uh, Matthew Hill has not led a lap. I was just about to say, he started 41st, so he's up here now. Matthew Hill also, surprisingly enough, no wins in the NCC today could be the day for him. Oh, really scrambling back there. You can tell it's coming to the end Space Guy finished third at Daytona, looking for some, for some leading action here. Two dodges on the bottom. This could be good because the 24 is in the, is in the rear. Oh, one. He could be a contender for most laps later, which would be a 10 point bonus. Again, laps later are good here. I think Santa Messi did a good point there. Uh, space guy in the bottom. Nimrod, who has, I don't think, let us see a lap this season. Uh, just got their season back together, getting some top 10s. Uh, Zigzagoon is second in points, right behind the points leader right now. I don't think he's going to have much towards it at this moment where he's at, but keep it on that four point. He may try to get win number two today. <coughs> They're going to catch that. They're going to catch that 24 right in the wrong place here in just a few minutes. Yeah, I think they're going to catch him in three or four, but again, I think he's keeping up a decent enough pace where he's not going to cause a wreck. Oh, wait, there's someone in front of him. 72 is too far off pace. We're going to go ahead and black. You got to come and look at the group. They're right up on him right now. He should go to pit road here. 72 car. He won't. Okay. So, decided, instead of DQing, I decided to black flag the 72. That way he's out of the way. That may be the wrong move, but oh well. They have caught the 24, and what are these guys going to do? They don't go through large, just very smart ones of 24 do. He blocks, he will pages the field. Uh, to the 24. I'm going to do it, well, I don't know, maybe not. No he gets in position where he's not in the way. I don't know, he's actually kind of good enough pace. You know what, I'll, I'll be nice and let's slow. No, it's 32, I'll just block 5 and just sort of get down there. He may get back in the way, though. <laughs> There's more cars further back in the pack, though. We may have to start throwing out some DQC. I don't know, this car ran down and it's going to be close. We're free to go, Zach. Uh, what do you think? I'm thinking one of these guys maybe use this 24 as a pick. He looks... He's fast. I think he's quicker. Look at this. Look at this. Frank Chilton. Two to go. What? Here's the thing. Win number two. Might use that 24. That 24. He's just here to keep on the lead lap. You want to do the race pick? He's going to wait. 
I'm gonna go vent. So. Really? I should have given him the black bear, but didn't. It's probably not a very wise decision. The 06 getting the lap right here could be crucial in the points battle, a little points lead. I think I'm or Melinda. Yeah, Melinda Jones may get that. Nope. This could be Melinda's win now. Oh, well, they spread out. This could be bad. Not really, because here comes Ben. Here comes Ben. It's on the bottom. Mary Chillen just lost a ton of spots on the top. Kyle Sustre looking to keep his top 10 streak alive. And then with a hard core drive behind the 50 to 24. Vince gets shown from the top. Melinda Jones looking for the first quarter. Let's see win. Yep, this is too far, Zach. Here uh, comes that group. 06. What does he do? He's got to run. Are you going to do anything? <coughs> Doesn't. 24 is not going to be a factor. The 06 will gain points on the four is Melinda Jones. Well, when? First quarter. I mean, 24 was on pace. He blocked the field goal. I did not want to go black flag while he was in while he was with the leaders because I felt like it would um, have. So that is why I did not black flag him. However, um, he's already punished enough. So I made Doc him a few points for doing that, but we'll see. There's three. And I'm. And I'm going to get a First crew win. And I know, I know one thing, Zach. I know his, her, uh, her team owner is going to be very happy. Oh, yeah. I think that's their third win. As a team, but Kyle Sustry will keep that top ten streak alive with a fourth place finish. Well, uh, that was pretty much it. Um, Nineteen laps. We did have some. We had that one big one. <laughs> that was by the thirty-seven. Um, ju justice served him fair. He did not finish in the top ten. Some guys came very, very dangerously close to um, getting a DQ'd. Let it slide. Just to be nice. Where did, where did Monaco finish? Because he did start 34th. Finished 39th, I mean. Finished 9th. <laughs> Chilton came home 4th. So, 06 is going to gain a little bit on the points lead. Well, actually, no. I don't think he will gain a whole lot on the points lead. If any. Nope. Chilton got, I mean, Chilton got the extra 10 bonus for both. Mm -hmm. yep. Then uh, a couple laps led, and then I think Zig Zagoon led a lap, so I think may maybe two or three point gain. <laughs> Very crawling up to that points lead, but I don't think it's going to be much of a factor. I think next race for Zig Zagoon, if he can catch up, definitely a great season for him in his second season. Well, anything else for you, from you, um, Reggie? Not really. Where were things like that, Zach? Next race in the Cup Series is at Knoxville. It's going to be a very, very, very short race, like 15 laps, no cap, for real, um, at a dirt track with a very goofy-looking setup. Uh, so, and, and for and for, uh, for NCRS? Yeah, the NCCRS, is, I think that is going to be at, um, I don't think that's at Knoxville. I think it's at, uh, where are they racing that? It's going to be in the, in the, in the, in the yeah, road course. Indianapolis road course. So hopefully y'all don't repeat what Lethal Mourner uh, did and die on lap three like y'all did today. So, um, yeah, for me, Reggie Fogelman, this is the NCCRS. And we'll see you next race, Indianapolis road course. And uh, the cut series is going to uh, Knoxville uh, here tomorrow, Friday. I might do it tomorrow, but we'll see. Anyways, peace.